has been a while. It has been a while. Oh. Let's shut that door. How are we doing? And welcome back to the channel. If you forgot my name, my name's Rob, and welcome back to Fen Farming. Okay, so it's been a while, yes, or no, but a lot's been going on. Uh, I'm still not feeling 100%. Got some sort of man flu. Dad's got it as well. Mum's got it as well. Um, yeah, we've been flat out. All the takes are in the shed. Got three sheds full. Uh, happy with the yield. We've bagged up 10 tonnes so far. Uh, we've also drilled about, what, 40 some odd acre of winter barley, 45 acre of winter barley. This is just off the top of my head, I don't know. Uh, nearly uh, 60 some odd acre of winter wheat as well. So all the winter barley, that's, that's in. And now we're just on the winter wheat. We've had to plough most of it, uh, about 50 acre of the winter wheat we haven't but uh, some of the winter barley we we ploughed and we're ploughing today purely because everything's just wet I mean you've seen the flooding on the news I don't need to tell you we had three inches of rain uh, here we got off lightly and I think we're lucky here but everything's still wet um, but yeah just taking the seed down the field now we shall get drilling dad's ploughing mum's on the power hour and happy days. This field is a little bit of a wet spot I'm up to now with the drill, so yeah, it might be an interesting video. It might be, be an interesting video, but yeah, that's it. Just haven't been filming, just been concentrating on what I'm doing. Not saying I'm not concentrating on what I'm doing today, but yeah, I get like that. I get in a, I get in a, uh, a mood. <laughs> I get in a mood where, yeah, I ain't, I ain't filming, I'm just working. Uh, yeah it is what it is it is what it is but all I can say is I hope you're all alright I appreciate um, you coming back to viewing and yeah we'll we'll get some videos done I'm, uh, I'm not pushing myself to do X amount of videos I, I just chug them up when I like so yeah you can see what sort of a day it is absolutely miserable there's my new bag lift anyway she works a dream but yeah it's just a miserable day it really is but yeah i think the plow is the only way now after all that rain in 24 hours um yeah i don't care what people say the plow is the only way you bring in dry soil up so it might release a bit of carbon, but yeah, what's a bit of fucking carbon when all them planes are flying about, eh? Rum old do, I tell you. Rum old do. Right, let's drop the seed off here, walk back and get the power out. Okay, so we're drilling wheat, KWS um, Zelum, Zelum, uh, soft wheat, biscuit wheat. Um, after the oats so we're drilling at 200 kilograms a hectare we're plowing it like I was saying but it's it, the, the Lemkin drill we, well, I was tempted to put the, the combination on but you can't fit a full bag of seed in the combination drill you're forever filling up um, since having this Lemkin it's a um, yeah it's a, it's a good drill, the Lemkin is, and, and the combination, the Amazon combination that we got, but um, we're tempted to purchase a power hour to go underneath the Lemkin drill for conditions like this. We shall see, that's another expense, isn't it? So we shall see. It's, do, it's doing its job. We've put the harrows on, the drill. Dad put the harrows on the drill the other day and it seems to level it off a lot better than uh, just using them press wheels. So, I don't know, we'll see, it's something for the future. It's just, you can tell by the, the grass how damp it is this morning. This is the oats double, everything's been sprayed with Roundup. Dad went and sprayed it with Roundup. A lot of oats seem to grow up after. Um, whether that was because they shaled out, 
Uh, we seem to had a good crop of oats, but maybe we could have got a better crop. I don't know, but it just seems to there was a lot, a hell of a lot of uh, that shaled out. But because they were just so thin, they just shake out. But oh well, is what it is. Is what it is. We were happy with the crop, and uh, we should put some oats in in the springtime again. So can't have been too bad. But yeah, just going on the grass margin down this field, these two fields sort of joined together, but there's a dike in the middle, so I've got this little field here, and then a bigger field that follows along the road, uh, that I did, what, 11 acre in, I'm getting too hot in here, Woo! 11 acre, I started at what, half four, last night, uh, yeah, half past four, I got down the field, because we were bagging potatoes in the morning, and uh, yeah, drilled 11 acres, so yeah, it was going all right. Well, the seed's gone somewhere anyway. Whether it's the right way up, I don't know. It feels like December. It really does. Well, we're nearly November, but it feels like December. But right, let's drop this off. Just here. That's why I brought that spare bag to drop this on the floor because the grass is absolutely piss wet through. There's Dad, you see him? Just about in the fog, in the distance, with the T618. He's got a heated seat. He feels rough, so he's put a heated seat on. But this field here, that's where the beet harvest I got stuck the other year. I got stuck with the plough another year. That's a dodgy bit of field, but I was jetting that uh, last year when it was oats, when it was drilled water laid on there. There's a wet bit in there as well. Just a dodgy bit of soil. You see where I got up with the drill? Just there, but it's, Dad's got it through with the power, Harrow. We shall see. Um, he got through. He took over from Mum with the power, Harrow, last night, um, and got through. But just this bit here um, is all a bit sinky, sinky. A bit sinky, sinky. But right, I'm going to get the power, Harrow. Oh. Got over the worst bit last night. Um, 
bit of power harrow over the wet bit. I've just got to get over with the drill this morning. But this has got to be drilled today. There's what? I don't know, 12, 12 acre left to do, I think. Uh, quite, just a few awkward like, gauze and stuff like that to do. Um, it's got to be sprayed today because it's going to rain. It's got to be sprayed at a reasonable time, not too late as well because the, the rain could wash the uh, pre-emergent spray down to the seed and kill the seed. So, it needs at least a couple of hours to dry. So, yeah. So this is the old GPS screen. This is the 6030 tractor. It's got 6,200 hours on it. This is an FM 750 screen. So, we're on RTX signal on this tractor. And it doesn't, it does save the field, but the lines move. So I have to come back and draw a new AB line. For some reason, sometimes it should pop up, but it hasn't done this morning. So I'm just drawing a new AB line for mum. Again, it's set up. So she can go up and down on GPS on the power hour. Happy days. I can't believe the fog is awful. I'll show you what job we're doing in a minute. Okay, so we ain't doing too much with the power how we're just leveling off the press work. The dad's towing the press with the plow. Just just leveling it off. Uh, and that'll drop well, it, it won't draw today, but it, it should draw on a nice day, it'll draw off nice for the drill, but that's my visibility. This is the screen that we're using in it. I'll sound absolutely terrible, don't I? Like. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you have to be moving to engage this GPS. I'm overlapping a little bit because I drew an AB line and I've just nudged it um, just because I don't want to miss any. Um, and yeah, just doing a few rounds with it engaged just to make sure it's all right. Then we'll do it in lands, so in shuttling. There he is, now you can see him. He does love the tractor, but he does love the T6 180. I bet he's loving the heated seat today as well. So, any of you thinking about getting a dynamic command gearbox, we can't fault the gearbox. So far, touch wood. Now I've just jinxed it, but yeah. I don't know whether you can just see where I got up to with the drill, just just about there. Um, yeah. Proper black soil. Now we're farming. Alright, so I've got over that wet bit. Uh, I've never put a full bag of seed in the drill. Put about half a bag in. And um, yeah, we seem to, I think I've got over the worst of it now, so which is good. But yeah, a lot I was saying, 200 kilograms a hectare. We put the harrows on, but it's still leaving, like every three meters, uh, a little bit of a ridge, which it doesn't leave it completely level. They need tweaking a bit, but I ain't got time. Just want to get drilling, get it done. Um, you know, when it's a rainy day next, we'll um, we will alter. But I've just put a tram line in now. And I'll show you what I do. So once I get to the end, I flick my ridge marker, the opposite ridge marker, back across. So then when I go down next run I put my ridge marker down a little bit so then when Dad's pre evin he knows where the tram lines are that's the center of the tram line if you get what I mean uh, it doesn't work that very, that well on uh, round
ground that we've rolled, but on ground that we haven't going to roll, like this, because this is this will never roll. Uh, so I put the drill down now, and now I'm just putting the opposite ridge marker back down, doing a little mark, and then lifting it back up. Um, little trick I see, because we ain't got pre-emergence markers. Little trick I see somewhere. I don't know why I've never done it before, but I see it somewhere and I thought, oh, I'll try it. Yeah, it's just leaving a little ridge every every uh, drill width, which I don't like. I like it completely level, but like I say, I'm just cracking on with the job now. It's uh, we've had a lot of rain, bad weather, unsettled forecast. Just get it in the floor. feet less. Yeah. Everybody else should take it five feet more. Wait, there's too many metal gears on that. Yeah. They turn hard. They turn hard. But they're super great. 74. Uh, 71 actually. Okay, so Currently. Call, so call it what 22 or three years old when you turn in a polar dryer. Yeah. I mean thereabouts. Eight thousand series turn your tenter and build the polar dryer. Yeah. It, I, and, it, and it'd be an 20 suit. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Yeah, and for the and for the people listening, like when you see an 8120 go down the track of Louisville, that's that's not an 8120. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so after a nice quiet lunch. The fog is gone! It's cleared and I can actually see what I'm doing. What a miserable day. Well, it's not cleared totally, look. What a miserable day. Sad, miserable day. Oh well. Oh well. The neighbour in his massy, he's just, he's come and uh, drilled two fields down here. I don't know where he is now, I can't see him for the fog. Um, so he's done that. I don't know how much he's got left to do. He's got a weaving tine drill and he's been using a combination as well. But yeah, we're, we're cracking on with this field, we're cracking on. We've done seven hectares uh, in this field.
let me know how your drilling campaign's going, uh, whether you're no-till, minimum till, plow combination, whatever, or whether you're no-till and reverting back to plow, because many people are. They're realising after a few years, they have to drag the plow back out of the nails. But let me know, put it in the comments. Alrighty then, that field's done. I've just parked here because I need some more seed to do the headland. Uh, the headland's on here because she's quite a big field and uh, you need quite a bit of seed. So I've just parked here, I'm gonna walk back, get a telehandler, get a bag of seed off the trailer, dump it in the drill. Happy days, we'll have enough to do the headland. Uh, yeah, it's worked out spot on 200 kilograms a hectare, which is pretty good. Sometimes with this drill, it can be a bit awkward to calibrate up, especially this. KWS seed, I think the thousand grain weight is something like 45 uh, and last year it was like 57 or something like that on a, on a different variety but it just shows, goes to show uh, the difference in years and the weight of the grain. Um, the less weight there is in the grain, uh, there bit more seeds actually being pushed into the floor, you know, it's taking less um, the air flow on there. Uh, and how light the seed is, you, you, more seeds are going in the floor basically. Ah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's gone. That's gone all right. That's gone all right. Um, we're going to alter the harrows a little bit for the headlands. Just have a play about on the headlands with the harrows because it's just it's leaving it's leaving too much of a ridge if you know what I mean. But we'll we'll go and put another bit more seed in here and um, yeah, that's another one ticked off the list. And the sun's come out. She's actually quite a nice day. There it is, there's the sun, the thing that we've been wanting for the last couple of days, so, yeah. Okay, just finished the headlands, finished that field. Dad's going to put the sprayer on and put some pre and spray on that. Uh, there's no chance we'll roll that at all, especially that bit just there. She was a bit sinky, but anyway, thank you very much for watching this little short video. I'll hopefully get this edited and uh, put up it's fairly soon so lovely job uh, videos will be coming soon i suppose <laughs> we're just busy flat out we've got some bagging to do when it rains and then drilling to do when it's uh, when it's dry enough so lovely job we'll see you for the next video Thank you very much. Ta.